We're at the northern end of the central court of the palace at Kanaz Sas, originally a Minoan structure in the middle and early late Minoan period, later occupied by Mycenaeans. Behind us is one of Sir Arthur Evans's reconstructions. You see a portico or columned courts with distinctive Minoan columns. Sir Arthur Evans restored them based on fragments of columns that existed with paint on them. Gives you an idea, however, of what it may have looked like. Between some of those columns, you can see uh, a reconstruction of one of the frescoes that would have graced many of the interior walls of the palace. Original fragments are at the museum at Arachleon. A little to the left of that reconstruction, you see another site not as heavily restored. And then moving up to the far left, you see how this palace was built in a number of stories, two, sometimes even three high. As Paul, the trusted cameraman, ascends the, the ramp here, we'll take one last look at the central court, which once again was a central focus of the larger community. Perhaps religious, athletic, commercial activities may have taken place here, including the fabled bull jumping known from the known frescoes, where young men would try to catapult over the horns and back of raging bulls. Bulls being important fertility symbols in many cultures, but particularly in the Bronze Age. Over here on the right is the so-called tripartite shrine. That was Sir Evans's identification of it. The problem with Minoan culture is that although they wrote in a script called Linear A, to the left of this shed, although they wrote in a script called Linear A, it has not been deciphered. And so it's very difficult without any literary historical context to really know what some of these archaeological finds mean. Uh, a lot of times a statue of a woman holding snakes is assumed to be a snake goddess. I often joke, how do we know it's not Aunt Bertha and her pet snakes? Uh, every chair, stone chair is a throne, every table is an altar. How do we know it's not the dining room? Anyway, you can see a little bit of the topography behind the site. You see some fellow travelers, John Rainey and Anna. A wonderful site, Minoan Crete.